when he was sentenced to exile by the people of Sinop, he said, And I condemn you to remain in this city. When he was sold as a slave and the auctioneer asked what kind of work he was good for, he replied, To be a master. When Plato defined humans as the only featherless bipeds, he entered his lecture with a plucked chicken and said, Behold, a man. When he saw the son of an unwed mother throwing stones at the crowd, he approached him and said, Be careful, boy. You might hit your father. If you want to learn more about the life and philosophy of Diogenes, I'll leave the link in the description so you can continue exploring his fascinating world at the end of this video. Meanwhile, let's continue enjoying more anecdotes of the most intriguing and irreverent philosopher of ancient Greece. On one occasion, Diogenes attended an archery contest in which a young, inexperienced archer was participating and he could never hit the target. Upon seeing the young man's lack of skill, Diogenes decided to approach and sit next to him. When someone asked him why he was sitting next to the inefficient archer, Diogenes responded with his characteristic humor, I think this is the safest spot. With this witty response, Diogenes was referring to the fact that the young archer didn't pose any danger to anyone as he couldn't hit the target. Then, Diogenes turned to the archer and said, Perhaps the donkeys laugh at you, but it doesn't bother you, just as it doesn't bother me if men laugh at me. With these words, Diogenes highlighted his indifference to the mockery and criticism of others, emphasizing his carefree attitude towards public opinion. One day, while Diogenes was sitting in a park, an arrogant and wealthy man approached him and asked, Are you the famous Diogenes, the cynic philosopher? Diogenes, unfazed, replied, Yes, I am Diogenes, the dog. The man was taken aback by the response and asked, Why do you call yourself the dog? Diogenes smiled and said, Call me the dog, because I bite those who do not know me and flatter those who do. The man, puzzled by the answer, realized that Diogenes was using humor to point out the hypocrisy and shallowness in society. Through this brief interaction, Diogenes managed to convey a powerful lesson about sincerity and authenticity, reminding the man of the importance of being true to oneself and others. On one occasion, Diogenes was invited to a lavish and luxurious party at the house of a wealthy aristocrat. All the guests were dressed in expensive clothing and boasted about their material possessions. When Diogenes arrived at the place, he found himself surrounded by people who looked down on him due to his humble attire and austere lifestyle. The host, wanting to mock Diogenes and highlight his own wealth, asked him, Aren't you ashamed to be so poorly dressed at a party like this? Diogenes calmly replied, Not at all. I wonder if you feel ashamed to wear so much unnecessary clothing in a world where there are so many who don't have enough to cover themselves. Diogenes's response left everyone present in silence, reflecting on the shallowness of their lives and the true value of material possessions. With his sharp intelligence and ability to point out hypocrisy, Diogenes managed to transform a frivolous occasion into an opportunity for reflection and self-examination. One day, Diogenes was walking through the streets of Athens with a lit lantern in broad daylight. Upon seeing this strange scene, people approached him and asked, Why are you carrying a lantern during the day? Have you lost something? Diogenes replied with a smile, I am searching for an honest man, but it seems to be hard to find one in this city. With this simple yet powerful action, Diogenes expressed his disillusionment and discontent with the lack of honesty and virtue in society. His search for the honest man became a metaphor to highlight the hypocrisy and lack of moral values in human behavior. The story goes that one day, Diogenes was strolling through the streets of Athens when he encountered an influential politician. The politician, eager to showcase his power and status, said to Diogenes, I have the power to exile anyone I wish from the city. Without being perturbed, Diogenes replied, that is nothing. I have the power to exile myself from any city I desire. With this response, 
Diogenes emphasized his detachment from social conventions and his philosophy of living in simplicity and freedom. While the politician sought to exert power over others, Diogenes preferred to exercise power over himself, demonstrating that he was willing to renounce any comfort and privilege to maintain his independence and authenticity. On one occasion, Diogenes was seen wandering through the streets of Athens, wearing a fisherman's hat and holding a fish in his hand. Some people approached him and asked in surprise, Why are you holding a fish in your hand, Diogenes? Diogenes replied with his characteristic humor, I am trying to catch flatterers. Just like fish, they are also attracted to what one holds in their hand, no matter how absurd it may seem. With this witty occurrence, Diogenes aimed to playfully criticize people who approach others solely for personal interest or flattery, without caring about sincerity or the authenticity of the relationship. On another occasion, Diogenes was standing in front of a wealthy merchant who was proudly displaying his impressive goods. The merchant said to Diogenes, Look at all these possessions I have acquired. I have wealth and goods beyond imagination. Wouldn't you like to have something like this? Diogenes replied with a smile. No, thank you. I prefer to be free from the chains that these possessions bring along. Intrigued, the merchant asked, What do you mean by chains? Diogenes explained, These riches may seem dazzling, but they also tie you down and enslave you. The excessive pursuit of material possessions can consume us and divert our attention from what truly matters, the search for truth and virtue. Diogenes's response left the merchant reflecting on the true meaning of wealth and priorities in life. This anecdote highlights Diogenes's detachment from material goods and his focus on living a life free from the entanglements of materialism and excessive ambition. One time, Diogenes was invited to a lavish dinner at the house of a wealthy host. The table was filled with delicious and expensive delicacies. While all the other guests enjoyed the food, Diogenes sat in silence, not touching anything. Intrigued by his behavior, the host asked, Don't you like the food? Why aren't you eating? Diogenes replied, I don't like to waste food. I value being hungry more than overindulging. Surprised, the host offered him some of the finest delicacies to persuade him to try something. But Diogenes, without losing his sense of humor, said, No, thank you. I prefer to savor the aroma of the delicacies, so I won't have to deal with the burden of digestion. With this response, Diogenes demonstrated his rejection of excesses and unnecessary comforts. His austere lifestyle and detachment from material indulgences sharply contrasted with the opulence of those around him. Once a rival philosopher tried to belittle Diogenes, saying, They consider you a great sage but you're just a beggar living in poverty. Diogenes responded with humor. It is true that I am a beggar, but unlike you, I know how to be happy with so little. The philosopher, annoyed by the response, insisted, but if you were more ambitious and sought wealth, you could live a much better life. Diogenes smiled and replied, I don't need wealth to live a fulfilling life. I have everything I need right here, while pointing to his heart. With this witty response, Diogenes emphasized the importance of finding true happiness and contentment in wisdom and authenticity, rather than seeking it in material wealth and external possessions. And there you have it, a glimpse of the witty and enlightening anecdotes of Diogenes, the cynic philosopher. What did you think? We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Remember, Diogenes' teachings prompt us to reflect on authenticity simplicity, and detachment from material things. If you enjoyed this content and crave more about philosophy and historical figures, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. Until next time.